Being able to create a space that not only organizes learning for students, but also provides a place for teachers to interact with students during learning is something that every teacher wants and needs. Having spent time in previous modules, you now know that you are successfully able to create a learning progression, use formative to gather data about where students fall on progressions, and collect live results. This makes you ready to create that desperately needed and wanted collaborative learning space that students can use to work together to learn from their peers and you. The digital tools that we have here at WCPS to create learning experiences are vast. However, there are only two tools that I would use to create a space that students are able to collaboratively work together and form a tailor-made learning experience. Those two tools are SmartAmp and Google Classroom. During this module, we are going to explore how to use SmartAmp to organize learning. And in the next module, we will take a look at how to use Google Classroom to do the same. If you would like to follow along with me to construct your learning experiences, feel free to do so. Please pause this video and take a minute to find the learning progression that you created. Let's begin with collecting the data that we gathered from the previous module. Looking at your learning progression data, create groups of students for each level of progression. Take a minute to pause this video in order to do that. As you are beginning to build your experiences, reflect on two questions. What skills do students need to learn to move forward from the current learning level to the next level? And what are the learning preferences for the students within your class? Taking into consideration the answers to both of the previous questions, you will need to construct a learning experience that allows students to explore topics, ask questions, hold discussions, and receive feedback on their learning. But the focus of this module is not necessarily about how to construct those experiences, but instead what digital tools are available that support exploration, collaboration, discussion, and feedback, and how to use those tools effectively. So let's begin with a look into SmartAmp. SmartAmp brings the whole class, groups of students or individuals together in a shared space to work on projects, add multimedia content and instant message. This is all done using student devices and while tracking contributions from each student so educators have an insight into who is contributing what. First, let's log into SmartAmp using your Google ID. Take a minute to pause this video Open a new tab and log into SmartAmp by going to SmartAmp.com. Once you have logged in, you can now create a workspace. A workspace is a digital canvas that allows you to put anything that you would like students to see on it. It is also the space where you and your students will collaborate together to make learning happen. When you log into SmartAmp, you will see something that says Go to Workspaces in the bottom right corner. Select Go and a new page will appear. This is your Google Drive. Google Drive and SmartAmp work together to allow you to create a collaborative space by bringing in all of your documents that you may need to help create that space. So take a minute and let's talk about how to create a new workspace. If you select create a workspace in the top left hand corner, this will allow you to create a space for you and your students to use. It asks you to name the space and you can pick from a variety of different templates. You can select a blank template or ones that have already been provided. So take a minute to pause this video, try to create a blank workspace and if you need further details on how to use SmartAmp, please see the WCPS online modules on our WCPS portal. Once you are in the space, you will want to be able to know how to use the tools that are available. 
For a detailed explanation of how to use the tools, please go to the WCPS portal and access the WCPS online modules entitled or titled Smart Amp. A brief overview of the tools that you can use are a bookmark tab that helps guide students to different places on the workspace, images or searchable images from the web. You can go to web content websites or you can use YouTube to upload videos. This is the text tool, so if you would like to write or document on the workspace, this is the tool to use. You can insert shapes and lines. You can create an assessment that students um, would take and you would get instant live results right here in the workspace. And then you can upload PDF or smart notebook learning files. If students or yourself have questions um, during the course of a lesson in this workspace, you can use the messaging tool. If you would like to free draw, these are the tools that you can use. It allows you to select different colors as well as different size of markers to highlight, underline, circle, or bring attention to. Again, um, if you would like for further detailed descriptions of how to use SmartAmp, please see the online modules. Take a minute to pause this video to explore how to use these different tools to create a fantastic workspace. Now that you have been able to explore the tools that SmartAmp has to offer, take a minute to look at this pre-created workspace. The bookmark tool allows you to have an easy guide and navigation through the workspace, showing all four learning experiences. In this case, this learning experience was to teach about learning progressions. So this group was the lowest group or a level one, the Bee Gees was a level two, the Journey was a level three, and Twisted Sister was a level four on the learning progressions. So, as students had selected where they fell on the learning progression, I assigned them a particular group that they were working through. As you can see, each group has an assignment that they must work through, and as they were working through the assignment, I would then meet with them and conference. As I felt that they were ready to progress, I would ask them to move on to the next leveled progression, Again, have them complete the work, we would meet, we would conference, we would discuss and provide feedback, and then once I felt that they were able to move on to the next level, they would move on to the next level of progression. The space alone allows and provides for videos, articles, feedback, and collaboration opportunities. And as students worked on their assigned level, I am able to move around the room to provide those conferencing and feedback opportunities. This space also allows for students to work together to support one another using the messaging tool as well as the text tool which allows teachers and students to provide text and feedback to comment directly on specific work that students have posted. See, SmartAmp is a tool that allows for students to collaborate and learn together. It also allows the teacher to organize learning for all students in one space, which is an easy way to monitor student progress and provide students feedback during their learning. In the next module, we will be discussing how to use Google Classroom to do the same thing, organize learning.